hi folks, it's uh, Chet from Tag Along with Chet again. Um, yeah, it's another nice day. Uh, I think if we go further south here, uh, it's probably uh, a little chinooky, uh, but out here the breeze is uh, non-existent. I'm sure there's something upstairs there though, uh, but uh, just south of here you can see the chinook clouds. But anyway, we're going to go up for a quick little trip here. I'm just waiting for the oil temperature to uh, get up to temperature. It's only 64 degrees in the oil temperature there right now. The uh, up here now. Uh, I've got oil pressure, so that's all okay. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll just see what happens uh, today. There we go. We got spot going. GPS map display is all working. That's on. Okay, I can flick that on now. Yeah, we'll just head uh, east out of here. Uh, I just want to see what's cooking out there. Uh, no use uh, going into the rocks today because it'll probably be a little lumpy out there. I just have to look south of here and I can see the Chinook clouds. So it uh, looks like we'll uh, we'll just head off. Uh, I'm not going up for very long today. Probably an hour or so. Okay, I think we can taxi now. I went down to about uh, minus five last night. At least that's what it was this morning when I got out. Well, there's something happening at Kirk Caldy, so uh, there was a no tam out. I think they were going to be doing some glider flying there, but uh, yeah, that was a yeah until today. Falcon traffic is Cherokee Charlie Charlie November. We're taxing to position. Runway 34, Vulcan. Vulcan traffic, Charlie, Charlie, November, departing runway 34. It'll be a right turnout, Vulcan. And we'll be climbing to 5,500.
And ground speed wise, we're doing uh, 104, so not much wind up here yet. But I'm sure if we go that way and up. See, the temperature is, uh, uh, let's say zero, it's actually two, but. Uh, I read an article in the uh, newspaper just recently um, that uh, on top of the solar panels that they're, the solar panel farm that they're building, which is just uh, east of here, uh, which is one of the largest uh, actually in North America, I believe. I, I, I but uh, anyway, so I hear. Uh, take a look at one of my latter uh, videos and uh, it'll tell you, because uh, I put, uh, some of the details on that particular um, blog as well. Uh, in this area, it's just basically all gas or oil. Uh, that's all there is out here. Uh, and uh, and it's out here uh, where I mentioned that, that they're actually building the solar panels, uh, solar farm. And uh, just south of here, uh, they're also building another wind farm, uh, and it's also one of the larger ones. Um, and so it, it's quite interesting, uh, all the uh, solar power and the wind power that they're going to start working on uh, here in uh, southern Alberta. So everybody seems to get the impression that we're uh, kind of a, a dirty province up here because we got Fort Mac north of us, and that's just a whole pile of bull anyway. If you've ever flown over it, uh, you'll see why. Uh, there's a lot of areas out there that are very nice, actually. Uh, I wouldn't even mind having a cottage up there, to tell you the honest truth. So all you naysayers, I don't know. <laughs> of course, I live in Alberta. Maybe I got a one-track mind. But then I got to tell you, I've lived in other places as well. Uh, lived out in the West Coast, out in Vancouver. I've lived in Montreal. I lived in Toronto, and uh, we're just uh, happy to be here right now. Never thought I'd say that, that I'd retire in Alberta. Everybody wants to retire on the West Coast, and uh, I don't think you could get me uh, back there. I've been there back there numerous times, and I don't think I could live there anymore. Totally different out here, folks. It's, uh, you know, we just had uh, breakfast this morning, the wife and I, and we just went down to a local A&W out here in town, and, uh, you know, the, uh, the people are just so friendly. Uh, you know, and uh, totally different uh, perspective on life. Uh, it's not this go, go, go bite bit as you uh, get in the cities. Pisano, okay. Okay, so that in front of us there is Bassano. And I don't think I've ever been to Bassano. Uh, I think once with a vehicle I was out there.
The Santa Fe traffic at uh, Cherokee Charlie Chart November. We're just uh, three nautical miles uh, to the uh, south, and uh, we're just overflying the airport. Not quite sure whether we're going to land yet. We're at 5,500. Sano strip. Look at that, it's even a paved runway for crying out loud. Boy, oh boy. Doesn't seem to be too much activity down there. They've even got a golf course at Bassano. Only a nine hole one, but uh, well. Oh yeah, I see. It's just right by the uh, by the freeway here, just off the freeway. Yeah, I've been here before. I think if we go a little bit further north here, or uh, east, we uh, hit uh, Brooks. Yeah. Okay, Brooks is uh, way up there where the, the big lake is up there. That's where Brooks is. Anyway, we're going to head on back. It's uh, noon. Ah. Well, I'm glad to know that. Okay, we're going to set this thing up and we're going to go direct. We're going to go OK. Well, let's see if we got any headwind here. Yeah, well, OK, it looks like the uh, upper winds are going to start kicking in. Okay, folks, you probably uh, remember me talking about this earlier, but this is the uh, Dynon that I bought at the uh, at Oshkosh uh, a few weeks or a few months ago when I went out there, uh, out in Wisconsin. And uh, what it does is it uh, it's an ADBS uh, receiver for weather and traffic. And uh, it transmits the data, well, it picks it up by satellite on here, uh, or not satellite, uh, but uh, ground base stations, and as well as any aircraft uh, that's uh, equipped uh, with the uh, correct uh, onboard equipment, which all the uh, airlines uh, basically are, and a lot of the uh, light aircrafts uh, south of the border now are equipped with that. Uh, I believe their deadline date is uh, 2020 when they have to be equipped. Uh, I think ours is in 2023, but uh, we're doing it a little bit different. Uh, I think we're going through satellite uh, as opposed to ground-based stations like the States is. So we'll have to have our antenna uh, mounted uh, both uh, up and I guess on the belly if we're down south of the border. I'm not, not quite sure how that's all going to work yet. But anyway, this takes the data and transposes it onto my uh, tablet here. This is just a Samsung. So this is an Android uh, capable uh, system. Uh, a lot of them are just, uh, you have to have uh, iPads uh, uh, like these. Uh, they're only compatible to uh, Apple type products. 
uh, whereas this one is an Android. And it's working quite well because uh, I pick up traffic on here. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, and weather as well. Uh, there are some stations out here that have weather. Yeah, there's uh, one out here, uh, and it's actually a farm. <laughs> and uh, it actually uh, transmits, uh, yeah, it's got an auto one. And let's see if the date's correct. Uh, 14, uh, looks like an old one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an old data. It's just old data it picked up. But in any case, it does have information on here. So anytime there's an airplane or something flying overhead, uh, you know, it comes out with an orange dot. That means it's not really a problem uh, coming overhead. Uh, I had one the other day, and uh, it was uh, it was just climbing out of Calgary, and it was a 737. Uh, anyway, it's, it's, you know, I paid uh, 349 U.S. dollars for that uh, in Oshkosh, and uh, I'll tell you, <laughs> it, it's just such a neat thing. Uh, so when I go back down uh, south of the border, of course, they have uh, ground-based stations there. Uh, you'll be able to pick that data up from there, which is transposed onto your uh, map here. Now, here I have a target, uh, and it's uh, somewhere out here. And it's... Um, Okay, it's, uh, what is that? Uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. Don't know what the call sign. Uh, it looks like an inbound from the States. Anyway, he's at 25,125 feet. And uh, here, I'll just uh, take it out on here. Maybe I, I can show you on here better. You can see the data there, the call sign, and the longitude, the altitude, and um, so the relative altitude, he's uh, 19,000 feet uh, higher than I am right now, and he's doing 347 knots, and he's going uh, northwest, so he's heading out towards Calgary, it looks like. But anyway, it picks that up. There he is right here. You can I don't know if you can see that in rel in relationship to me. So he's right up here somewhere, but obviously no problem. Now if it's red, then you got to start worrying about it. But uh, in this particular case, it's not an issue. But I'm sure that's what it is. Uh, he's actually heading out uh, towards um, the um, uh, Calgary Airport. And also, as you can see on here, since I've got this all open, uh, that's my uh, elapsed time out there. It's just a clock that I set as soon as I get airborne. And there I am. This is the Flight Plan Go app uh, that's actually free. So uh, you actually get the, uh, the data uh, free, whereas uh, some of the other apps uh, cost you money, especially for Canadian data. So that's why I go this route, because I'm a cheapskate. Welcome traffic, it's uh, Cherokee Charlie Charlie, November 4.2, uh, east of the field, just passing through 6,200 on a gradual descent for an overhead arrival Vulcan. Vulcan traffic, it's uh, Cherokee Charlie Charlie, November. Okay, call the traffic, water, golf, on way back to hotel, downwind runway 2 on left. Vulcan traffic, Charlie, Charlie, November's overhead the field. We're at uh, 5,700, uh, and we're on a gradual descent, and uh, we'll uh, be checking the windsock. Vulcan traffic, Charlie, Charlie, November's overhead of the field, and uh, we'll be joining for a left hand downwind runway uh, 16. Vulcan.
can see, folks, the uh, golf course is nice and green, but <laughs> yeah, they're getting ready to cover up the greens. Matter of fact, some of them they already have. Yeah, you know, I see one area they already have covered up uh, one of them. And this is the town where I live in. Actually, I just live on the right side out the uh, minute and a half away from the airport. Traffic Charlie Charlie never ever established on a left downwind runway one six Vulcan. Okay, let's see what yeah I gotta do here. Next is rich. Fuel pumps on. Vulcan traffic. Vulcan traffic, Charlie Charlie, November Sherning final runway 16, full stop, Vulcan. Ah, oh, yeah, you can sure tell there's wind up here. Fifty-nine knots I'm doing right now. Ground speed and my actual speed is about seventy-five. Cherokee Charlie Charlie November, we're uh, clearing uh, runway 16, Vulcan. One hour. And six minutes of flying. Folks, uh, nothing special on this particular flight. I uh, just thought I'd take it up for a Sunday afternoon uh, trip. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be busy, so I can't do it then, and uh, I don't know what the rest of the week's going to be like. So again, thanks for coming along. Uh, you know, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Kick that little bell there, give it a hit as well, and then uh, you'll know when I uploaded uh, the latest one of uh, my blog vlogs. Anyway. Um, 
appreciate all the uh, newcomers uh, to this uh, to the channel. Uh, I've got quite a few of them that have showed up over the last month or two, and I uh, really appreciate that. So uh, we'll uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for coming along. Bye for now.